Hey guys, Master Jig Dev here, and in this video, I will be showing you how to download and, and install Debian. Because Debian is like the mother of all Linux distros, it could be kind of confusing to, um, like, download and install at times. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, but I recommend, but for those of you who want to fly solo, sure, go ahead, but, like, I only recommend that if you are, um, like, have used Linux for a long time. Like, I'm pretty experienced with Linux, so I know what I'm doing. So, what you want to do, um, is open up you know, Firefox, and the first thing you'll want is a torrent client called Views. So, um, just search up views on Google and go here. The first, um, thing, uh, yeah, and then, um, click on views. And, um, next, um, what you want to do uh, is go to www.debian.org. And I and by the way, as of this video, Debian Six Squeeze is the newest operating system from Debian. So I'm going to be showing you how to install that. You want to click on CD ISO images, and you want to click on Download CD DVD images with BitTorrent, because that's when your Views client comes in handy. Now, what you want to do is, um, if you have, you want to look under here. Um, if you have, um, a 64-bit PC and you want to put Debian on that, you can, um, uh, you have to click this link. This will also work for, um, Mac OS X as well. Um, but most Mac OS X PCs are 64-bit, but there are, um, a couple 32-bit PCs as well. Um, just check your system information for that. But um, if you want, if you have a if you want to put this on like a 32-bit system, you want to click on i386. Uh, I have a 64-bit one, so um, you want to click AMD 64. And what you want to do now is there are like a lot of CDs, but just go ahead and click on the first one. Hit OK, and yeah, it'll say open it with views because it is a torrent. So click OK. Mm, this is the same at Safari, I think. So as you can see, I had already gotten it. So um, I had accidentally stopped it. So mm, data missing. Oh. Oh, well. so, hold on, let me clear views quickly, you wanna, by the way, if you wanna, like, um, uh, like, delete it, then, yeah, click, um, delete from computer, and now, I am gonna try and reinstall it, now, it will start the downloading. It'll speed up to really fast, like it goes up to 700 kilobytes per second. As you can see right here. And yeah, just wait for it to finish downloading. I'll skip to um, the part when it finishes downloading. Alright guys, so as you can see here, the download is done. So now what you want to do, for Windows computers, you will, you want to click open containing folder, but for Mac OS X users, you want to click show and finder. Now, what I'm going to do is just drag it to the desktop, but you can keep it in your downloads folder if you'd like. Now, uh... Let me turn up the volume a little. 
Um, you'll need um a CD in your um disk drive if you have one. If not, then you can buy a disk burner. They're like only for fifty dollars. But you wanna um open up um your disk burning thing uh, in Mac OS X. It's a disk utility. And you'll wanna click burn. And this is like the same for pretty much everything. Select a disk image and click burn. Ready to burn? Click burn. Okay, so as you can see, once it's done burning, you'll close the session, and then I think it should start verifying the disk. Yeah, there it goes, verifying. You can skip this if you want, but it's not recommended. Alright, so once it is done verifying, by default, it will eject the disk. Um, now you can just put it in another computer. Mm, I will end this video for now, and I will make a part two of this video on how to install it. So, comment, rate, and subscribe in the meantime, and I will see you.